In today's video, we're going to look at importing data from a delimited text file in Excel 2016. This is something that you could be tested on if you're looking to take the Excel 2016 exam. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor in the place that I want to bring the data in. For this, I'm going to put my cursor in A13. Now what we want to do is go to the data tab. My students always want to go to the insert tab, and that makes sense. You're thinking inserting data. But for this, where you want to be is the data tab. And where we're looking is get external data. There are a lot of places you can pull data. You can pull it from an access file. We can pull it from the web. We're going to be doing text today. You can also look at some other sources. And so there are a lot of ways to bring in data into Excel. So let's click on from text. We'll go ahead and map to where our text file is saved. Before we begin going through this window, let me go ahead and pull up the file that we're looking to import. This is the file that we're bringing in. In this file, each section is separated by tabs. So this big section here is a tab, and this section here is also a tab. We're ultimately going to tell Excel to look at this file, and the tabs are where you're going to start a new cell. The first part of this window asks us to choose the type of file that best describes our data. For this, we're looking for delimited, so we'll keep that selected. Depending on what the task question says, you might have to check off this box, My Data Has Headers. We'll click Next. On this window, we need to choose our delimiter. Our delimiter for the text file is the tab, so our checkbox next to tab is correct. And we can see that Excel is going to separate our data by the lines that are shown here. If I uncheck tab and I try semicolon, we can tell that that's not going to be brought in right. We can try the other ones. And we can see that nothing really fits. On the certification exam, it'll be clear as to which one you should choose. And I'll click next. This part of the text import wizard is just having us format the different columns. We don't need to do anything special for this, so we're actually just going to click on finish. This screen is just verifying that the cell that we selected, A13, is exactly where we want to place the data. We can do some other things with this, like put in a new worksheet. We can also add this data to a data model. We're not looking to do that for this. We'll click OK. And Excel went ahead and it brought in that text file. It turned this into something that we can manipulate in Excel.